We had an exciting track yesterday with a bunch of different talks from some of the people that you may have met for the first time at IPFS camp, or, or not IPFS thing, that they were not at IPFS camp. So it's kind of neat that we had a lot of new people in the track. Um, Lido, give us an update on where we are with HTTP generally, compatibility and support, what we can do with new gateway features that have recently shipped. Move, talk to us. Uh, and this was kind of interesting ways of thinking about how to operate on IPFS data from web platform APIs. How do you do it from within the web page as opposed to fighting what's around the web page? Uh, Fabrice talked to us about Capiloon and their approaches towards integrating IPFS in a mobile OS. And one of the highlights there was end user interface for UCAN based permissions at the operating system level. So watch that talk for sure. Um, David showed us what we're gonna do with Manifest V3 now that it's re reducing our uh, capability space that we have in IPFS extensions and what a road forward might look like for IPFS based extensions to be able to flower and make a thousand of them bloom for specific vertical content use cases like maybe Wikipedia or misinformation, be able to save things from Twitter. Uh, leading right into Ilya's talk about Web Recorder, and he demoed live for us basically like an automated archiving of browsing Twitter to IPFS in real time, which was pretty amazing. Um, the uh, talk from Martin kind of gave us a view into what's coming in the near future for browser connectivity, so a lot of what we fight with in the browser is the fact that we don't have the transports available that we need for a full P2P connectivity and implementation. Uh, there are some interesting opportunities there and those will be available us pretty soon. We had two bonus talks. Fleek showed up and gave us a preview into what they're going to be shipping later this year, um, which is uh, interestingly aligned with a lot of stuff we've been talking about this week. Uh, and then Daniel uh, gave us the IPFS 201 materials talk about how we take that uh, to the next level. The, Number of problems and frictions that none of these are going to be super surprising. Uh, we really do need to fix gateways that are still not working for some basic use cases. So how do we get folks like Ilya and Fabrice in the same room with people that are gateway operators to make sure that they can actually just pull files through? Uh, uploading a terabyte of data was something that Ilya was poking at today and really just couldn't make it work. And so there's some problems there and we need to really explore that space more. Um, the, we do have new tools coming, which is good for solving some of these problems, and we got to learn about those. One of the most interesting things, though, out of like all of us being in a room together was how many of these groups of people are already working together. And so we tried to map out what that kind of what those dependencies were, who's building with extension, who needs to do more with extensions, who's building on top of browsers or building a browser, uh, who's building browser-like things and has dependencies on, op, on embeddable IPFS nodes or gateways that operate uh, need to operate better. Um, and then kind of like that, we tried to identify that list of, of operations, like basic high-level flows of how you use IPFS in these different contexts. From that came some uh, learnings like, you know, Really, the, like one of the biggest takeaways is that at the most basic level, oftentimes these transport constraints shouldn't have to be in our way. Like it's your it starving person in a desert made of marshmallows. There's so much bandwidth and, and connectivity in places where we can't get things to work. So where are we fighting against the transports as opposed to kind of either working with them or just reimagining where those like, architecture boundaries are? Um, and one of the things that you know we saw often was was we are able to get beyond those constraints and get things to work when we stopped trying to fight the platform and when we really thought about reimagining re where where IPFS needs to live in the overall architecture. So in browsers, maybe it's not inside web content and maybe it's just outside of web content in new and interesting ways that we haven't really thought about before. Um, so a couple of short-term actions came out of this. Uh, spec reviews of the new connectivity stuff for libp 2 p super important and that's something that you can contribute to now. Um, getting Web Recorder and Capiloon, these people that are building on top of IPFS and our gateways in the same room with the uh, gateway operators so they can debug why like you should be able to fetch a 650 meg file through the gateway. It shouldn't really be that much of a problem, um, but it's not working. Why? Uh, immediately provide feedback and, and summarize the uh, requirements that we have in the web platform space for that minimum viable IPFS specification. Uh, a proof of concept implementation that's already kind of been done by the DAG house folks of a client side racing gateway. So right now the racing gateway implementation is on a service worker somewhere behind a domain, which may not work for various use cases that we have in local first and uh, uh, local first applications and things like that. So how can we um, maybe move some of that logic all the way out to the client and experiment if 
with whether that improves the performance profile of like bad, dodgy, or worse connectivity situations. Uh, pretty low, low, like low hanging fruit in terms of experimentation that might yield some interesting patterns. So uh, that would also be something that would be useful for a number of these different projects. And then finally, uh, David and Ilya using like the web recorder use case to really push on what an IPFS extension template, an example IPFS extension, uh, how that would function and how it would work. Uh, some of the milestones that came out some of the specification stuff, and really in the spirit of, you'll notice here a lot of draft specification, uh, specification-driven development, it, it, it array, uh, using that process to be able to define how IPFS should work together in these spaces in a way that is not implementation specific, is language agnostic, transport agnostic, and can really yield more uniform developer surfaces across the different places that we want these things to work. Uh, and really pushing out a little farther, like focusing earlier on files, which is the most common use case, and then pushing out more complex data operating scenarios a little farther out into the future. That's browsers and platforms. Thanks.